tonight I would like to talk to you about fear. See, fear is this two-sided coin. In a survival scenario, in a fight, in an escape, a chase, fear is both a motivator and, for lack of a, an opposing term, a terrifier, or something that makes you potentially freeze, something that makes you potentially make a mistake. See, fear does this interesting thing. Fear creates within us a, a response that, you know, well, you've heard the term fight or flight. Um, some people will even say fight, fly, or freeze. Um, <clears throat> but either way you look at it, you're talking about this hormonal and nervous response that sees a, an extremely exciting, often negatively exciting stimulus and it kind of sends your body into, oh shit, I don't know what to do mode. And depending on your training, your background, your personal disposition and all that, you may choose to face it, you may choose to run away from it, you may choose to or, and you know it's not a choice you may end up just flat out freezing because your nervous system locks down and can't make a decision um, that's the bad side of it you know it, it creates this overload response where you have trouble dealing with it on the other side though pardon me fear especially known fear is an excellent motivator because if you realize, uh, I don't know if you realize, uh, fear of loss is one of the strongest motivators to get things done or to change a habit or whatever. Fear of loss is one of, if not the strongest motivators out there. And that's an important thing to know. Now, this really only works with known fears. There are things that may be unexpected uh, uncalculable, unpredictable, that still send you into the fight or flight mode. But this idea of, of I will have no fear, well, yeah, you will. To say you won't is foolish, but at the same time to go, well, fear exists regardless, so I'm going to just succumb to it every time is foolish as well. You have to come to this understanding with fear. You know, fear is for, you know, let's use a horrible analogy. Fear is kind of like a loaded gun. When you're behind it, you can control it and you do well with it. When you're in front of it, holy shit, you're going to make some rash spot decisions that may or may not be the best and chances are you don't have enough information to know whether or not those are going to be good decisions. So don't treat fear as this horrible evil thing and don't treat it as, as your only source of motivation but find the balance there. Understand that you need to train against unexpected fears and surprise fears. You need to train against those things so that the negative impacts of them are fewer and just overall less impactful. And then on the other side, you need to understand your fears. You need to understand the things that just drive you into terror, or even not terror, they just drive you into this sense of nervousness and, and overload, and learn how to harness that energy and use it to motivate you. Both sides of the coin have their uses. Um, you know, we developed the the fight or flight response purposefully. It has helped us survive this long and using fear as a motivation has helped us advance in our technology and our relationships and whatnot quite a lot too. It's a major emotional marker that says, hey, something's got to change. So learn to identify your fear, learn how to get behind it and use it and learn how to face it. Um, I, I'm not going to quote the whole thing because I'm, a, I'm afraid my 
quoting memory is terrible, but you know the uh, the litany against fear from Dune. That, you know, I, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Is the little death that something something. You know, I will let it pass over and through me. I I don't remember. <laughs> it's funny. I don't remember the, one of the most famous lines from my favorite book, but. The, the mantra or the, the litany is, is powerful because he's not saying I don't fear, he's saying I must not fear. He is reassuring himself that he needs to come to it, you know, come to terms or be at peace. And this is one of the ways, it's just a mnemonic device, but it's, it's one of the ways that will help you harness and get behind your fear so that you can be the one in the driver's seat. That's all I got for you tonight. It's short. I know I rambled last night, so I'm going to cut it off here. Good journey.